Peter with BibleMoneyMatters.com and we're doing a quick look at the uh, Sierra Wireless Overdrive Pro and I'm currently using this with the Freedom Pop service. This was actually sent to me that by Freedom Pop. Uh, as you can see it says Sprint on there uh, but this is actually a Freedom Pop device. It's a refurbished Overdrive Pro that was sent out by Freedom Pop. Um, so the Overdrive Pro is a 3G and 4G uh, wireless hotspot. Um, I love the fact that this one has 3G as well as 4G because some of the places I go around the Twin Cities area here don't have very good 4G so having that 3G backup is uh, actually really good to have. Um, you can connect up to eight devices to this hotspot so I can connect two tablets, computer, or home thermostat if I want, whatever you want. Uh, up to eight devices. It's pretty small. It's about 0.7 inches thick and three ounces in weight. You can easily slip this thing into your pocket and forget that it's even there. Uh, it's easy to use. It comes activated already when you buy it from Freedom Pop. And you just turn it on, connect your device. Uh, the SSID is right on the screen there. You can probably even see that there. And the password is on the screen as well. And you can turn that off if you want to. And it also has uh, network storage on this device as well. So if you want to put a micro SD card in here, you can then connect to it whenever you're connected to the uh, to the device. So let's take a quick look at it here. You have your device, kind of a glossy finish to it. This one is a little, little beat up just because I've had it for quite a while and been using it as my main on-the-go wireless internet. Um, but as you can see, you have your LCD screen here, you have your power button here. On the side here you have your USB port, micro USB for charging and uh, also for connecting to the laptop if you want to do that as well. Uh, these here are I believe for wireless or for antennas so you can improve your reception. Uh, there's two of them there. Uh, let's see what else we have here. We have the audio mute button that will mute your audio so any audio notifications are not uh, heard anymore. I uh, have your micro SD port there. And I'll leave that close for now. And on the back you have your battery port. You can just slide that off and that will show you the battery. So on the screen you have a bunch of different notifications here. You can tell how strong your signal is, tell if it's 3G or 4G. Oh, my battery's getting low here. Uh, the GPS is on. You have the uh, Wi-Fi and it's no devices are connected at the current time. You have your battery. This is inopportune. It's searching for network. I have kind of a low signal here where I'm currently standing in the house. So 4G connects but doesn't always stay connected. Um, it'll also tell you when it is connected. In the center here it'll tell you that SSID name and password for the device, um, how much data you've used during this session, and how long you've been connected. There we go. So there's the SSID name, the wireless network name that you're going to connect to, and the password. Oh wow, it's really. I think it's partly because the battery is getting low here. It's not having a good time connecting. If you double click the uh, power button here, it's going to give you some more info. It'll give you info about your connection. Uh, how you can connect to the device to manage the settings of the device. You just go to this address here, uh, Wi-Fi network name, password. If you double click it again, it'll tell you if there are any alerts, if it needs a firmware update or anything like that. You have your billing info, so it'll tell you how much data you've used during this billing cycle and when the billing cycle restarts. So I have 15 days left in my cycle and so far I've used Oh, about 400 megabytes and I've got a, a gig of free data through Freedom Pop. Tell you which network is active. Currently it's 3G. More details about the, this particular one. How much battery is remaining. I have uh, info about whether it needs a software update or not. So that's your Freedom Pop Overdrive Pro device. Um, there are more things you can do uh, on the manage page. Again, if you go to http colon slash slash overdrive pro, that'll be an online, when you're connected to the hotspot, that'll be a manage uh, administration page where you can change the network settings, uh, change what shows on the LCD screen, 
um, set up and en enable the micro SD network storage uh, and a bunch of other things as well. So, uh, Overdrive Pro, it's from Freedom Pop. Uh, definitely suggest checking out Freedom Pop. You get 500 megabytes of free data every month after you buy the hotspot. So, basically, it's a free wireless hotspot. A great deal. You can also usually find a good deal through a sale or something along those lines. So, check it out.